And welcome to another round of Sports Views. Tonight I'm reviewing Mexico 2, Canada 1 in the semifinals of the 2021 CONCACAF Gold Cup. Canada loses at the last second, the last moment. They fight hard, but it just wasn't meant to be. But I'm so proud of Canada. The goals were scored as follows in the 45th plus first minute, 45th plus one minute. Orbelin Pineda scores a penalty. They go to VAR. Henry slides in to tackle. He gets the ball, but they check it on VAR. You know they're calling it a penalty. I don't think it was a penalty. I think we got conca But Pineda scores, gets a pass Crapo to make it 1-0. That's the way we go into half. They get another penalty in the second half. Salcedo takes it, and Crapo saves it, and they get out of that one. They're still in the game. The 58th minute, Tejon Buchanan. It was actually after Buchanan's goal, but still. Tejon Buchanan scores, cuts in, has an amazing shot, scores off the angle, puts it past Talavera to make it 1-1, and they're in the game for the rest of it. And they have a better second half. Their second half was amazing. The first half, they were great. The second half, they were amazing. The stats really don't tell the story of this game. The goals don't either. And then, of course, in the 90-plus ninth minute, the ball's crossed into Herrera, he takes an amazing shot at the top of the box. Beats Crapo. Nothing you could do about it. Amazing goal. And that's 2-1 to one to Mexico. And Mexico will go to the final to play the USA. And yes, I will watch that final. I will do a live stream watch along of it. Toronto, Nashville, RSR. That was always planned. There would have been no difference in Canada made it. But, and yes, I'll still do a preview. Yes, I will. Because that's what we do here. I will still do a preview of that final and predict it. And, of course, my predictions were one for one this round. The only one I got wrong was Canada-Mexico, but I wasn't that far off. Y'all discounted Canada and said 4-0, 3-0 Mexico. No, they almost beat y'all. They deserved more. They fought being concacaf away. They didn't get concacaf They kind of did, but they didn't. For me, they got out of being CONCACAF. This Canada team is amazing. I'm proud of them. I really am. Yeah, it could be better. We could have won. Sure. Sure. If ifs and buts were candies and nuts, and if my aunt had wheels, she would have been a bike. If my grandmother had wheels, she would have been a bike, but who cares? I'm proud of Canada. The stats were as follows. 14 shots to 9. 7 shots on target to 3. 61% possession to 39% possession. 458 passes to 200. Or 458 passes to 299 passes. 78% pass accuracy to 70. 17 fouls to 18. 2 yellow cards to 4. 0 red cards to 0. 0 offside to 1. 4 corners to 2. As I said, I'm proud of Canada. They played well. They fought their hearts out. They fought their asses off. I'm proud of them. In Mexico, yeah, it was a game where we nearly got concacaf The fans, again, do the chant. There's a stoppage, late goal. But I'm not really mad at Mexico. It's more of a CONCACAF situation that I'm mad at. The fact that the chant happened, they had the stoppage. I'm mad at the fans for that. The concacaf the two penalties, I'm more mad at CONCACAF refs for that. And for me, I just want, I just want consistency. If those two were penalties, the Lee penalty fouled by Walker Zimmerman in the group stage was a foul. But it hurts. It hurts because they. They did well tonight. This wasn't like old Canada who gets beat up 4-0 by Mexico. Hell, they actually played Mexico. They did not sit back. They were not afraid. They took it to them. This is different. And I'm proud. And I'm sorry if this focuses more on Canada. I'm wearing a Canada shirt. Okay, I'm going to force, not force, but focus more on them. Force, focus more. Yeah, whatever. Of course I'm going to focus more on Canada. Mexico, they had an okay game. Nothing special. Nothing special, honestly. Canada played better. 
I don't care if we had less possession. I don't care if we had less passes. We played well defensively, save that penalty shout, even though I don't think it was a penalty, and the last shot. Other than that, <laughs> it hurts. It hurts to play one of your best games ever in history and lose like that. It hurts. But I'm proud because this is a different Canada team. They still are. Like, if they had lost this game 4-0, you know that TikTok I made back in 2019 when the women's team lost to Sweden and the men's team lost to Haiti? The doo -doo -doo -doo. Like, you know that trend? Like, FNBS, FNBS, you know that trend? I would have done it again, but no. Even if the women lose to Brazil or the USA in the Olympics, I'm not remaking that video with a 2021 version, because the men do not deserve that. That would be wrong. If the women get embarrassed by Brazil, or the USA, or the Netherlands, or they get embarrassed in the final, or the bronze medal game, I'm not going to remake that trend. I'm not. I'm not. And you could look up. Canada. It's on my Twitter, okay? Scroll down a bit. I said I was going to remake it. No, they don't deserve it. The men, the Canadian men do not deserve that slander, frankly, of me remaking that trend. Yes, I thought Canada was going to win the Gold Cup, but I'm proud of them. They got to the semifinals. They were a great team. They're the first team to score on Mexico in this tournament. They're different. Winning, not winning, hurts. Now, I'll say that. Losing this game hurts. It's depressing. But I'm proud of Canada. I'm proud of them. Because they scored on Mexico. Nobody else has. They took the game to Mexico. Nobody else has. Mexico still looked weak. We should have gotten more, frankly, one bad mistake, two bad mistakes cost us this tournament. But damn it, I'm proud. Damn it, I am proud. They're not in the final. They're third place. In my book, Canada is third place. That's the second time they've done that. 2002 was the first. I was a year, two years and a couple of weeks old when they had that third place. I was seven the last time they made a semifinal. And it wasn't this close. This was better. I'm proud of them. And you know what? Going into the octagonal, they could finish second. They're going to the World Cup. I am sure, without a shadow of a doubt, when Davies, David, and Laren get back, they're going to the World Cup. And they could probably get a result off Mexico, at home or in the Azteca. Seriously. This team, as I said, was different. They proved it. And I hope to God people notice that. Canada is different. This team is different. There you go. This team is different. And I hope you notice that. This team is a different Canada. They took the game to Mexico. They did not cower. They did not flinch. They were not scared. They didn't turtle. They took the game to Mexico, and I am proud. I've probably said proud like 70 times in this video, but I seriously am proud. Canada fans, this team is on to some good stuff. And I hope that the country gets behind these men, this team. I hope the country does. And I hope when this team makes the World Cup, I hope to see celebrations across the country. Market Lane. Vancouver, Montreal, DT, downtown Toronto, but also Market Lane, because I'd love to see those scenes, but for Canada, Fort Zuri, but come on, I want to see it for Canada, and it would have been awesome had they won this final, I think that would have happened, or got to the final and won it, I think it would have happened, but what can you do? I'm sad, but you know what? Canada women have a quarterfinal at 3 in the morning against Mexico, or not Mexico, Brazil, in the Olympics, 
and at least one team can go through. And I want to see them go through. I want the Canadian women to go through. Will I make a video for that game? I'm not sure. Maybe I will. But I'm proud of the men. I'm proud of the Canadian men's national team. They proved me right. They are different. They may not have won the tournament. They may not have won this game. But they proved me right. They are different. And that's all I'm proud of. And it's sad that they lost. But this is a whole different feeling than 2019. 2019, I was empty, shell-shocked, sad. I'm sad because we lost. I wanted us to win this game, and we deserved to win this game. We played much better. But for me, I am proud of the team overall for what they've done in this tournament, for what they showed in this game, that they're not scared of anybody and they could take it to anybody in CONCACAF especially with their A team. This was their A minus team. There was depth here. And by the way, our injuries and suspensions, and we still were that close. <sighs> you gotta realize that this team is a lot closer to great things than people expect. I expect a knockout stage berth in Qatar. I expect them to make it to Qatar. And I think they will. And I'm proud. I'm proud of this team. I am proud of the country. I am proud of the group. And that's all that matters. We lost. Yes. Is this going to hurt for a little bit? Yes. Am I going to cry? Maybe. Am I going to cry? Yes. But that's life. You pick yourself up, you dust yourself off, and you go again. And they will be able to in September, in World Cup qualifying, with Davies, with David, with Laren, with the A-team. And it's time to show the world that this wasn't just a one-off. We are here, and we're here to stay. And I'm proud. Am I wrong about Canada beating Mexico? Was that my only wrong prediction so far of this tournament? Yes. And Canada winning it overall. But other than that, I, I don't care if that's wrong. The way they played. I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud of John Herdman. I'm proud of the group. I'm proud of the coaches. Stephen Caldwell. Moro Biello. I am proud. I am proud. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with for years. And this was the moment that they really needed to kickstart that. And they did. You just want this, though. You just wanted that goal back. You just wanted to see them win. But it hurts. But overall... In the grand scheme of things, they're going to be just fine. So, there you go. So, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. Go subscribe to my Patreon, $5, $10, or $20 a month. Anything is appreciated. Link is in the description below. Help support the channel. You'd be awesome if you do. Anything is appreciated. Help support no matter what. Then, on the 31st. I will be making my Gold Cup final preview and prediction. And I'll give you this one. I hope the USA wins. I hope they do. Oh, say can you see? You know I'm a country boy. So I'm finally coming home for one night only. Only because I am saltier than a mug. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yeah, wave. Can you shut them up again? Because I really need you to. I know that sucked, but I tried. 
I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace. See you soon. I'm proud of you, Canada. And I hope the players see this. I am proud of y'all. And we get some of the players back for Toronto FC on Sunday. So that's good. So that's the one bright side in all this, for me at least. For 70% of you, it probably isn't. But, you know, there you go. I'm Ron. I'm out. Peace.